Hello, today I'm going to be fixing the error E5 on any scanner at all. Today I'm going to be making use of a 2710 printer to be able to solve this issue. But generally, if you have an error E5 on any printer, it has to do with the scanner. Check the scanner head, which is the CIS, or the scanner cable. Most often times it's just a scanner cable. Once you bring it out, you're going to clean it up. And if you clean the scanner um, cables and that is the flex, after cleaning the flex and the error still continues, you just have to change the, the, the scanner itself, the scanner head itself, which is the part that, um, that moves when you want to make a copy of anything or scan anything at all. So I'll show you how to do that now. For this particular printer, I'm going to take out the screws on this, on the top towards the part where you have the, your, where the paper sits. But in other printer, you can, it can be different from this. So I'm going to take out these two screws at the head and then we have another set of two screws at the, at the bottom part of the, the printer too was the part where you where the paper comes out so the two first two is at the paper feed area while the second two um, screws will be at the paper outlet where your printed copies comes out from so after removing those you'll be able to get access to the cable remember to remove the cable gently so as not to damage the cable in any way and then um, these particular errors occurs um, in, in so many printers and sometimes once you just uh, clean the cable, detach the cable, clean it up and then put it back there, that should be able to solve the, the problem of this particular printer. So I'm going to take out the two screws at the bottom towards the paper outlet area. So just remember that it can be different on your own printer depending on the kind of printer you're using but whatever you're doing make sure you get access to the, the scanner cables that is the part you're going to be working on detach the scanner cable from the motherboard clean it up and put it back there again that should be able to resolve the issue if that doesn't resolve the issue then you have to replace the scanner itself which is the part that moves when you want to scan or make a copy So I'm taking out the, the, the set of two screws at uh, the paper outlet area. After that, I should be able to detach the top and then detach the cables from the bond body set. So I've been able to remove the cables, I'll gently raise the, the top up and then carefully so and then there, there you can see the cables, um, okay let me see, okay. So we have the, I'm going to remove the cables with my other hand right now, detach it from the motherboard gently. So the cable has been detached, now this is the cable that I was um, talking about. So I'm going to get a flat, uh, a, a flat metal, probably a screwdriver, I'm going to clean it up right now, you can see. Just clean it up this way, or you can uh, get something like a flat screwdriver and gently scratch the, the surface of it, but you have to be very careful. You know that this cable is very flexible, if you scratch it too hard, it can, uh, it can cut the, the cable and then the cable you have to replace the cable entirely so in order not to in order not to go through that problem you have to be very very careful when dealing with the cable so i have uh, a, a flat metal so i'm going to gently scratch up the surface so most of the time this is going to uh, sort out the problem i'm going to scratch the surface because over time the carbon dust has been built up on this particular contact point and then one or two contacts are not um, contacting the, the contact on the board and that is going to affect the, the scanner to keep giving you that dreaded error E5. So scratching it off this way most of the time can resolve the issue. 
so i've been able to scratch it off right now and i'm going to plug the cables back in in the motherboard and see if this will resolve the issue hopefully it will resolve it and if it doesn't then i'll know the scanner head is bad i'll just replace it completely so it is bad i'm not going to screw it up yet i will just plug in the cables and see if the error is still there so i plugged it in right now and then i'll see so normally when you plug it in you, you can just open the lid because when the printer is about to initialize the the scanner head just um goes back and forth to be sure that the movement is okay so if the scanner is not moving at all up when you start the printer that is another indicator that um, something is wrong with the, with the scanner itself either the cable or one thing or the other is wrong with it so for this particular printer it prints normally but the issue with it is that you can't copy on it neither can you scan on it each time you want to make a copy on it it brings that error e5 so you can see the error e5 is, is still there which means something is actually wrong with the cis system so i'm going to detach the cis system right now and check if the motor is okay probably something is blocking the motor from moving and if something is blocking the motor from moving it will give you this kind of error also so i've been able to check the cable the cable is fine but the error is still there now i'm going to go to the scanner head itself and check the motor if the motor is fine so gently um, detach it from the head this way um, detach all the clips you have about four clips two on either side of i have about five or six clips on it rather two on either side of, of the printer i'm going to gently uh, pry it open you have to be very very careful so as not to damage the, the printer so i've been able to open it up right now and that is the, the scanner head i was talking about so I'm going to check if there's anything obstructing the movement. I'm going to try to pull it back and forth over and over again like two or three times and see if there's any obstruction on, on it. So, so far I, I've not been able to see any obstruction. Everything appears to be fine. And then I, um, everything appears to be fine. Another thing is that you're going to check this, uh, the, there is this white, uh, white um, line white line that is um, what um, tells the what tells the scanner to stop or move so you're going to check if there's any form of dirt or dust or any stain there that is feeding um, bad, um, an, an error message to, to the scanner head itself so i'm going to check through all that and from what i can see so far everything appears to be fine the motor is okay so the problem is likely the scanner head I'm going to, to close it up again and I'll try it up again to see if it works. And if it doesn't work this time around, I have to replace the, the scanner head, which we call CIS. So remember to like and, and subscribe. I have a whole lot of videos on how to fix a whole lot of things because uh, my, my, my company will fix a whole lot of things from scanners, all kinds of scanners, Kodak scanner, Canon scanner, um, HP and all kinds of scanners and printers. We do a lot of repairs and we solve a lot of problems there. So if you have any issue, you can just check my videos. Probably you'll be able to see one or two videos that should be able to help you solve your problem. So uh, right about this time, I'm still testing the, the, the motor to be sure that it moves freely. But from what I can see so far, the, the motor is fine, it moves freely. There is no form of obstruction inside, everything is fine. So I'm going to close it up again and plug the cable back in the, in the motherboard of the printer. So let me get the printer. Now. This is the motherboard and then I'm going to seat it in and plug the cables back in and hopefully it works. So let's see if it's going to work this time around. If it doesn't, you have to replace the scanner head. You can just check online and then remember when you want to replace the scanner head, that is a CIS. You have to check the code on the that, that is this number or serial number or code on the 
on the scanner itself you have to check it it has to match the one you're buying if not it is not going to work because the scanner look like i like or the size look like this one doesn't mean it's going to work on it so many scanner head looks like this so many series looks like this but it might not work for this particular model so check the number on it there's a parts number on it which you have to take note of when buying another one it has to match it has to be the same for you to work for your kind of printer that you will be working on So far, um, it doesn't work and what I'm going to do now is to remove the scanner head, check the part number and then get another one. So, so that is it. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you some other time. Thank you.